When Sonny Rollins came back from his second sabbatical, he took one in the late 50s as he was ascending into the ranks of jazz royalty, as was John Coltrane at the same time, his friend. Uh, people have speculated, oh, he, he, he decided to step back for a minute because he wanted Coltrane to have the limelight. I'm not sure about that. I never asked him about that, but uh, he took time off to practice. I think that's what, he wanted to be better. He played very well, but he wanted to get to the next point. To do that, he had to sequester himself uh, initially in, on Willoughby Street, his apartment in Brooklyn, but uh, neighbors complained he ended up on the bridge, the Williamsburg Bridge. Almost every day of the year, even in the winter, he'd go up there and he'd play for hours and hours. And then he came back uh, in the early 60s with the bridge, Jim Hall, Bob Cranshaw, Ben Riley, classic recording. And then in the late 60s, early 70s, a second sabbatical, this one more spiritual in nature. I went to Japan and India, uh, spiritual quest, uh, lived in an ashram for a while. I have another, I have a complete video about Sonny's time in India you might want to check out. There's a link down here in the uh, description. I caught him uh, right after he came back from his sabbatical. The Brooklyn Academy of Music uh, was the band with Masuo, Japanese guitarist, Bob Cranshaw on bass, David Lee on drums, and in this particular instance, his old friend Walter Davis Jr. on piano. Walter was a, a monster a disciple of Bud Powell and a really a remarkably and a very dynamic personality with a laugh and a smile that could bring light to a room. Sonny played fantastic that night, and during that period, he went to Europe, he went to Europe a lot, and Japan a lot during his life. And while he was in Oslo, Norway, he did a concert over there, which NRK, the Norwegian television network, as other uh, TV networks in Europe did at the time, they recorded, they put it on TV. Now on that tour, he had Rufus Harley, who played soprano sax and bagpipes, which is an interesting sound to add to the group. Masuo, Bob Cranshaw, and David Lee. Here they play a ballad, which Jackie McLean also played quite often, written by Burt Backrack. A house is not a home. <laughs>
Thank you.